Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem in order to find some unknown parameter for a given soil sample. So the numerical problem states that a soil sample has a wide ratio of 0.74, moisture content of 13% and specific gravity of 2.74. These are the given data for a soil sample. Then find out the dry unit weight, the moisture unit weight and the weight of water in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter to be added for 80% degree of saturation. So these are the three unknown parameters that we have to find out for this soil sample. So, so first we know that we have some given data, given data for this soil sample, which is the wide ratio. The soil sample has a wide ratio of 0.74. It has a moisture content of 13%. So it is means the water content for this soil sample is 13%. And the specific gravity is 2.74. So we have to find out first the dry unit weight for this soil sample. So gamma d, the dry unit weight. So dry unit weight can be easily found by the using this formula of the soil mechanics, which is the one of the basic formula used in the soil mechanics that gamma d is equal to specific gravity into gamma w divided by 1 plus e. So we know all these factors in this formula so we can easily determine gamma d. g is, is known to us. Gamma w which is the unit weight of the water it is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. It should be kept in mind that this is the standard value for the unit weight of the water. e is the y ratio it is also given to us. So by plugging all this value so it will be G is 2.74 multiply with gamma w which is 9.81 dividing by 1 plus e which is 0.74 so by multiplying we got here that the gamma d comes out to be 15.44 kilonewton per cubic meter so this is the gamma d, uh, gamma d are the dry unit weight for this soil sample. Now the second unknown parameter is the moisture unit weight for this soil sample. To find out the moisture unit weight, B is gamma moisture. So it is unknown to us. So gamma moisture can be easily found out if we know the dry unit weight. So just multiplying the dry unit weight with the 1 plus water content of the soil sample so we can find out the moisture unit weight for the soil sample. So gamma moisture will be equal to gamma d. Gamma d is 15.44 multiplying with 1 plus w where w is the water content and water content is 13% or we can say 0.13 in the unit in the decimal. So by multiplying these we can find out the gamma moisture. So gamma moisture is dependent on the gamma d or the dry unit weight of the soil. So for this reason, first we have to find out the gamma d, then we can find out the gamma moisture. So by multiplying, we got that the gamma moisture comes out to be 17.44 kilonewton per cubic meter. This is the gamma moisture for the soil sample. Now the third unknown is it states that we have to find out the weight of water in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter. So we have to find out that how much weight of water is added in the soil for 80% degree of saturation. Did we get 80% degree of saturation, how much water should be added in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter. So to find out this, we have to find out some new gamma moisture for 80% degree of saturation. So for this reason, we know that the gamma moisture, so this is the third unknown. So we know that the gamma moisture, this is the original gamma moisture, which is 17.44 kilonewton per cubic meter. This is the original gamma moisture for the soil sample. Now we have to find out the gamma moisture for 
at which 80% degree of saturation is there. 80% degree of saturation. It means that we have the degree of saturation equal to 80% or S is equal to 0 0.80. So we have to 80% degree of saturation in the salt sample we have to find out the gamma moist. So for this we can use similar formula gamma moist is equal to gamma D into 1 plus W. But in this case we don't we know that the gamma D is 15.44 but we don't know the water content because this water content now is the represent the 80 percent degree of saturation so this water content is unknown to us so we have to find out the water content at the 80 percent degree of saturation for this reason we can use this formula s into e is equal to gs into w now this is 80 percent weight of the water 80 percent degree of saturation so by shifting the value of 80 percent we got S into E divided by GS. Now in this formula, S will be the 80% degree of saturation. So S will be 0 0.80 or we can see 80%. So W80% will be equal to S will be 0 0.80 because the degree of saturation is 80% for this case. E is given to us which is 0.74 dividing by GS which is also given to us 2.74. So by this we found out the water content for the 80% degree of saturation is comes out to be if we multiply this with the 100% because water content is always expressed in the percentage so we got here 21%. So the water content for the 80% degree of saturation is 21%. Now we can put this W80% here in this formula so we can easily find out the gamma moist for the 80% degree of saturation. So now the gamma moist for the 80% degree of saturation will be equal to the gamma D into 1 plus W. Gamma D is this one 15.44. 1 plus W is 1 plus. Now water content is 80% so we found out 21% so it will be 0.21. So this formula is used but in this case we found out the different W in this case it was the given value because it was the original water content but here this changes because we have different degree of saturation of the soil so here by multiplying this we got gamma moisture for the 80 percent by multiplying this value we got 18 0.68 kilonewton per cubic meter. So now we find out the new gamma moisture which is for the 80% degree of saturation. Now we can easily find that how much weight of water to be added, weight of water to be added will be equal to the gamma moist for the 80% minus the gamma moist original. So gamma moist for the 80% is 18.68 minus gamma moist original is 17.44. So this will be 1.24 kilonewton per cubic meter. So this is the weight of water that to be added in this soil sample in order to have 80% degree of saturation in the soil sample. Hope you guys understand this trick that how to find out this weight of water that should be added for the different degree of saturation. You just have to know the original gamma moisture which you find out before and then you have to find out the gamma moisture for the 80% degree of saturation and then you can subtract this value in order to find the weight of water in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter. You can also transfer this weight into the mass just by dividing it with the row of the water. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos.